because the war progressed, the life of the air crews became increasingly dangerous. In the periods of high risk, such as during the Fokker scourge, a new recruit could count himself lucky if he survived two weeks on his first squadron. But a small number of pilots won fearsome reputations by defying the odds and notching up many, many enemy kills. Canadian Billy Bishop is accredited with 72 kills. Meanwhile, the legendary German ace Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron, claimed some 80 Allied aircraft. Myths have grown up to surround them, of chivalry, of pilots treating each other with respect and even honour. But is this the true story? During this fighting, there was undoubtedly a sense of chivalry in the air. We did not feel that we were shooting at men. Our enemies were not the men in the machines, our enemies were the machines themselves. The value of aerial reconnaissance was evident from the very beginning of the war. The freedom to manoeuvre over the enemy trenches would have to be fought for. The era of air-to-air -air combat had begun. They were circling the aerodrome, firing at each other with revolvers. Uh, they then, when they'd emptied the revolver, they flung the revolvers at each other and our man took out a steel plate from that he was sitting on, his protection underneath his seat, and he skimmed that at him. Naturally, of course, he didn't hit him. They waved at one another, the jerry went off home, and our man came round and landed. The exchange of waves that we've just heard about in no way implies that the pilots took their air combat lightly. This will become increasingly evident as you listen to this next interview with Freddie West, VC. I must say that I have never seen an act of chivalry between German pilots and ourselves. Neither any of my brother officers ever witnessed such acts of chivalry. When we were in the field, helpless, in, a, in our aircraft, the German fighter made quite certain that we would be put out of action by firing his guns and diving two or three times. But this is not an act of chivalry. But it is an act of war, and I think totally justified. If the notion of chivalry does not tally with the experience of pilots, why is this an idea we have been left with? 